that shrub onto that and we gotta when I get there I mean I have to really jackknife this thing to even get up on it there's not a ton of room you gotta go up on that slab can't cut it too early Watch how much I got to jackknife this thing. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. Let me roll this window up. <laughs> we are making our way to a pickup here. If you're stopping in for the very first time, my name is Chuck. And I am an LTL driver for a company called Estes. And I'm in the second half of my day, which is the pickup portion started that uh, with my last customer so I had 14 deliveries today and now I'm starting on my pickups and right now I'm showing that I have seven pickups uh, there's always more that's added to that <laughs> so uh, sometimes in the afternoons um, if I get some customers that got quite a bit then I'll sprint over to the terminal jump on a forklift strip my trailer and then go back out um, and then other times it, you know, I just, what they send me is what I'll pick up. But it's kind of one of those things, if you start, you know, I, I just have a tendency to hustle anyway. That's just my DNA to do that. I'm not one of them people that can sit and play on my phone and, you know, hide out behind one of, you know, Hobby Lobby and say a spot uh, a stop took 30 minutes when it only took five i'm all about moving but also when you're like that you know one day they give you 12 next day they give you 14 next day they give you 16. You know, it's got it's kind of one of those things you start finding out that a lot of stuff starts getting funneled your way and you kind of get start getting called out of your area but it is what it is hey uh, I, I believe in giving someone the best i've got every single time um, but almost to this next pickup now this is a um, we don't go to this customer that often but they're an interesting bag and that's why I wanted to fire up the camera is um, you know and when you're talking about a day cab you're really never really blindsiding because you've got this window right here but it's still hey anytime you're back in something that direction where I'm about to back it and off the road I'm going to back off of it could be a little bit of a challenge every now and then so I figured I'd bring you along Mr. Central over there you know we don't have a whole lot of uh, uh, Central Freight here I mean, they're here, but I don't see their trucks that often. All right. Nice Camaro there. Oh, there's somebody in their dock. wonder how long they're going to be in that dock. You know what? I'm not even going to stop. So what I'm going to do is I've got another customer down here that I've got to get a pickup on. So I'll just reroute it, even though it would have been more of a, a flow to go this way. But I didn't want to turn down that street and run into all that. So we'll, I'll take you into this place. <laughs> I'll take you into here, let you see the backing. And then I'll let you see the backing over there. If you like these type of videos, you know, let me know if you want to see, you know, some backing from, you know, kind of a POV standpoint. FedEx Freight. Pick up 
a lot from this place over here. They do a lot of, uh, they're a distribution for like cranberry sauce and boxes of dressing, like stuffing. Uh, a lot of uh, dry food stuff is what they do in there. Cans, canned goods. We got people in all of our spots. But we should be okay. We should be okay on this one. We'll just go right next to this. This Peter Bill here. Watch out for that over there. I think it's, there's a little stuff like that that jump up and bite you when you're trying to back. interesting place they make all of the uh, the windows for uh, the school buses for the bus plan Navistar bus plan over here nice people oh I know it I forgot my seatbelt Go by this other lady, see if see if that uh, truck that was in her dock is gone. XPO, XPO. Hopefully, hopefully that dock is open. If it's not open, she's a two o'clock or three o'clock time frame. I don't know if I'll be able to get back to her or not. I might be able to. Anytime, if the something's close, if we go buy something, you know, and we're going to be going by there again maybe later on, I'll call dispatch. Dispatch will try to get a hold of them and say, hey, you know, our driver's driven by your place twice and your dock's been full each time. Uh, is there any way you can wait a little, wait around a little longer? And a lot of the places will if they know that we're coming. And other places will say, nope. You ain't here by three. See you tomorrow. <laughs> and we're like, no problem. <laughs> There's always usually more than what we can pick up on a daily basis. Somebody's in it. Still in it. So, we won't... Slide back by later and see. All right. Uh, we'll see what else happens today. All right. I'm going to take you into this place. <laughs> I remember the first time I came here. I thought the place was abandoned, and I thought dispatch was sending me on a wild goose chase. Because I got here, and I was like, this, this place ain't even, there ain't it. And there's no way this place is still in business. There was no cars here, and you'll see as I turn.
there wasn't even a car. There's one car there right now. But this building was right here. This gate was open. And I, I came in here and I was like, I went and knocked on that door. I went and knocked on that door. And I was like, I don't think this place is, I don't think there's anybody here. So I was parked. I turned around. I was about to leave. And a car came in. I said, you here for a pickup? And I said, uh, yes, sir. He goes, oh, okay. He goes, well, follow me. He goes, you've never been here? And I said, no. <laughs> so this is where he brought me. Now, look at this. Look where I'm going. You come around this bend, you got to be careful. I mean, I'm coming around here with a 53-foot trailer. <laughs> There's not much room either when you get it. You can take off a few tree limbs. You know, watch the back there. You got this gutter hanging down. You gotta stay close to this wall. And then you got that rail back there. You can see it. I'm barely gonna clear that, that drop off. <laughs> so I was falling back here, I was like, this guy's leading me back here, man. I, I said, where in the world? Look at this. It's all grown up. I, mind you, I'm in a 53. There's a little bitty ramp right there that you have to back up on. And you basically got to spin this 53 up in here. See my trailer. I said to myself, what did I get myself into? Okay, so we're going to go around that shrub onto that. We got to, when I get there, I mean, I have to really jackknife this thing to even get up on it. There's not a ton of room. You got to go up on that slab. Can't cut it too early. Watch how much I gotta jackknife this thing. <laughs> Look at that. Now you gotta get underneath it, said Doc Wecker. What I always do when I get about right here, I pull forward what little I can. Because we're like, you know, looks like we're in the Congo. <laughs> make sure I stay up on that slab. Where? There's the one pallet. Hello. Oh, pretty good. You got this one pallet here. You got the bills over there. Yes, sir. Okay. There you are, sir. Okay. Put your sticker in here and get you a signature. Okay.
last pickup. I got one more after this. Oh, perfect. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. That's filthy. I'm hoping they turn the water on back at the yard so I can give give the truck a wash. They've had it shut off because of winter, but it's summertime now. slab here and then I'll do the paperwork but Ugh. so <laughs> oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that that's uh that's as interesting as it gets right there I appreciate you guys stopping by the channel <laughs> if uh, you want to keep coming on along for some uh, some crazy deliveries and pickups. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. But guys, until I see you at the next video, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your day. And until I see you next time, remember life truly is short. Make sure you make it sweet.